Hello and uh, welcome everyone to my channel. Here I am Tarun Sharma and this time we are going to cover a totally brand new playlist. So recently I'm covering up some playlist which is talking about testing in React with a Jest and then I covered uh, microservices a lot about uh, microservices in Next.js and then I was talking about the testing, testing everywhere with the help of Jest or different tools and technologies. And recently I covered a lot of content on the React TypeScript and then a lot of content on the Nest.js. Now I want to combine all these learnings into a real world project. Okay, so this is the playlist which you should go after covering all the content and this playlist is going to talk about full stack application with the latest tech stack. What do what I mean to say that I'm going to cover everything latest. We are going to use Prisma, we are going to use GraphQL, Nest.js, Next.js and everything will be in TypeScript. So what is the agenda of uh, this particular playlist? We are going to write a full stack application which will be covering the writing the, the React component in the Next.js and writing the APIs in the Nest.js and then the backend. We are going to expose the backend APIs through the GraphQL. We are not going to use REST. We are going to play with the GraphQL with the Nest.js. We are going to store the data in the inside of Prisma. So you can see the, all the different combinations of our different technologies, server-side rendering with the Next.js and the Nest.js, which is going to expose the GraphQL APIs. Data we are going to store inside the Prisma. So all these uh, things we are going to cover. I have already covered these things in the previous playlist. If you want to take a look on the Next.js learnings, you can go to my channel. If you want to take a look on to the Next.js, which is server side rendering, there is a playlist. Okay, everything is covered in a different chunks. But now we are going to combine all these things together and we are going to create a full stack real world application. Server side rendering, a lot of aspects, a lot of concepts we are going to learn. And then Next.js for API building and specifically we are going to use GraphQL and one important thing is everything will be in the TypeScript either we write the front end either we write the back end with the Next.js we are going to write TypeScript only and then coming to the test cases test cases we are going to write with the Jest Jest is a runner and then we are going to use React testing library for writing the testing the component we can use Cypress for end to end testing and we are going to take the advantage of server side rendering and we will also compare it with the client side rendering how it is different and how it is optimized what are the pros and cons when should you choose server side rendering when should you choose client side rendering totally new to my playlists i haven't covered prisma at all so this is new platform and here i'm covering prisma v2 and then we will see how prisma will fit our uh, requirements we will define the models we will define the relationships into different entities one to one one to many many to many Let's say simple blogging application, right? Here we are writing a simple uh, Next.js for the server side rendering. GraphQL APIs are exposed through the Next.js and then storing of data is happening through the Prisma. So it is all about the latest trends in the technology and we are going to learn all these things with the real world examples. So get ready. If you are not prepared, you can take some time. You can check out my playlist. Okay how Next.js works so because I'm not going to cover the very basic fundamentals of a Next or Next.js or uh, GraphQL because I have already covered Next.js with the GraphQL, Express with the GraphQL, GraphQL Yoga, GraphQL Apollo, GraphQL Server. How to write APIs those all things are covered. Everything is covered if you just take a look onto my playlist 101 videos on Next.js basic fundamental React advanced. Then if you want to learn about microservices React with the TypeScript all about testing in the react in the apis in the front end and all about react if you wanted to learn and also i have a playlist on the next js which is talking about server side rendering okay so stay tuned guys thanks everyone thanks for watching if you like my content on different aspects different technologies you can hit subscribe i can guarantee you that whatever the content i'm delivering through the playlist through the videos through my channel is 100 percent like Tech Trends 100% original, 100% created by me and totally useful. If you are going through them, obviously you are getting something from them.